Greetings one and all. Welcome back to the uh, Easy and Delicious Kitchen here today. So I'm going to be making a nice little crunchy tartlet pie sort of concoction of um, scallops and crab. So to start with, step one, I just want to brown up a few of my scallops and I mean to sear them just for a few seconds each side, well, you know, 20 or 30 seconds, doesn't matter if they're not cooked, and then um, take them off and I'm just going to put them aside, and um, yeah, I'll get back to you. Alrighty, so I've put those um, scallops just to, to one side for a minute, um, I should have mentioned, yeah, I cooked those in butter with a little bit of oil just to stop the butter. Um, burning and it was about 200 grams of scallops uh, next I've got another big knob of butter in a small saucepan here as you can see I've just melted that it's just coming to um, a sizzle I've got here like the stem of one um, leek that I've just sort of roughly chopped and I'm going to drop that into my butter Now my seafood filling for my little tart things, I haven't got a name for it yet I'm going to um, try and emulate a flavour that I ate years and years, used to eat years and years and years ago in the island state of Tasmania where they had um, curried scallop pies so this is sort of I'm trying to recreate that, I don't have a recipe to recreate that but um, to that end, while those leeks are sweating down, I am going to add some curry powder into that and what's that, That's a, I've got two teaspoons in there but I think, yeah one teaspoon will be plenty. And that's my good old Jaffna curry powder world famous or soon to be world famous in my kitchen anyway <laughs> uh, but use whatever curry powder you've got or like so I'm just going to let that cook out for a couple of minutes alrighty so my leeks there have been um, what well, leek <laughs> been cooking away there in that butter and curry powder for a couple of minutes I've got to say it's worth using that curry powder just for the smell alone <laughs> It's putting into the kitchen right now as we speak. So next I'm going to add a little bit of flour. I'm just going to add, add. So I've got two tablespoons in there and I'll probably use all, what is that? No, probably about one and a half tablespoons. will be plenty. And we'll just, again, I'll just put that out. For a minute or two. All right. We'll fast forward another couple of minutes. Now I'm going to add what I've got here is three quarter cup of milk. But I'm just going to add a little bit of that at a time. At a time. Stir that in. Once we get a nice sort of thick paste like that, I'm going to take it off the heat. Just let it cool slightly. Alrighty, no need for it to completely cool. Um, just a little bit there. So, next thing for our filling is I've got 
a half a cup of thick cream I've got a couple of tablespoons of fairly finely chopped fresh dill I'm just going to put a squeeze of lemon juice in there like so now in here I've got two cans of drained um, crab meat so they were 170 yeah 170 gram tins and they were just in the brine but I drained that as much as possible so two cans of that and last but certainly not least I've got our scallops that we cooked earlier and they're going in as well So all I'm going to do is gently stir that up, mix that cream through that roux, gently fold that crab meat and the scallops through the whole lot. And once I've done that, I'm going to put it aside and let it totally cool. Alrighty, so I've just got some um, phyllo pastry here out of the freezer, just let it thaw. Um, so what I'm going to do with that is basically cut it into squares, or roughly squares. And I've got about six sheets here because I'm going to be making about six tartlets, so <laughs> bear with me. Because with those six, I'm going to be cutting, see I've got that a square, now I'm going to cut those into smaller squares again. So I'm not being too pedantic about it, just close enough is good enough. Alright, so like I say, yeah, roughly squares. Um, yeah, get them on top of each other. And I've got spare there. Have another tea towel on standby. Just to sort of cover it while um, the majority of the pole we've been working on a little bit. Like so. Right, <laughs> so one piece at a time. Onto my board. Now I've just got a little bit of a bit more melted butter here. Just get a tiny little bit. And for each uh, cupcake we're going for four layers, so we want to butter each layer in between. See here, I'm sort of crisscrossing it over, so it's making a bit of a star sort of pattern. So it falls about right. Now, 
got here a little muffin tray. Same thing, we'll just butter the uh, inside of one of those thoroughly. Get our fillet. Set it in there and we'll just push it in, gently push it in. Like so. And just with those little single bits sticking up, I'll just slightly fold those over. Otherwise they'll um, burn. Alrighty, so I've got my pastry casings ready to go. Now I'm going to bake these in two phases. Um, so total is going to be about 14 or 15 minutes. The first seven minutes I'm just going to bake these with no filling in them at 180 degrees Celsius. So I'm just waiting for the oven to preheat. Um, yeah, so they'll go in for seven minutes. So I'll pull them out and then I'll show you what's next. Alrighty guys, next step is pretty obvious. I'm going to get some of my uh, filling and just drop it into that, uh, those little cases that have started to bake. So yeah, I'll just get a spoonful at a time. Just make sure you get a couple of those scallops in each, in each casing. Alrighty, last little touch I'm going to put on this is I've got some um, grated cheese here. Now this is a three cheese mix. It's just um, yeah, cheddar, mozzarella and a bit of parmesan. And I'm not going to go silly with this guys, just going to put a little bit on top of each one. So, alrighty, back in the oven for seven more minutes. Alrighty, so I've uh, finished cooking my little um, seafood, I don't know, I like to call them pies, but you know, they've got that country phyllo, call them tarts, anyway, whatever you want to call them, they're ready, so nothing left to do but um, try one, so yeah, you can pick it up, I don't know, to me it's like a pie because it's, it's a bit deeper, but you can call it a tart, whatever you want. As you can see, I've just put a bit of a bit fresh dill on top. The proof is in the tasting. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ah, oh, yummo. 
the pastry is just flaky and just about melts in your mouth. Just the right amount of curry in it. It's really, really yummy. I've got a little bite of scallop. And I know you can't see that there, but there are scallops in it. As you, you saw me put them in. And man, I'm going to sit down right now and finish them off. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching, as always, really appreciate it, uh, I especially appreciate those that subscribe to the channel, you guys rock, you're awesome, uh, I know I keep saying that, but I really actually do mean it, thanks for it, I appreciate it, no end, and if you haven't subscribed yet, can I just ask you, hit that subscribe button, it doesn't cost anything, um, yeah, and if you do hit subscribe, hit that little bell thing, it'll let you know when I upload the next video, which could be, um, I'm actually working the next two or three days, so it might be for two or three days, but if you hit the bell, you'll get a notification. Alrighty guys, I'll see you all next time.